Thompson! Trombone! Mystifying people. Do you think I could be your apprentice? We'll start at noon. <laughs> but you almost killed yourself! Get me out of here! There's no time. Stand back! This is the Evergreen Forest. Quiet, peaceful, serene. That is until Burt Raccoon wakes up. <laughs> Luckily, he has some good friends to help him out. Life would be simple in the forest, except for Cyril Sneer. And his life would be simple, except for the raccoons. On a perfectly ordinary morning in the Evergreen Forest, things usually go as planned. Unless, of course, Bert Raccoon happens along. Then the day can turn around like magic. I may not be as good as the great Trum Boney, but uh, <laughs> cast your eyes on this, Cedric. Nothing up my sleeve. Voila! Wow! Gee, Bert, I didn't know you were into magic. Are you kidding? I've loved magic for ages. Why, uh, I could make a peanut butter soda disappear like that. <gasps> Here he comes, Cedric, the greatest magician, illusionist, and escape artist on the planet. And he's playing the Blue Spruce Cafe. Oh, wow. <laughs> How to make an entrance. Come one, come all to see the great trombone. Be amazed, be stupefied, but be there. Very impressive, Mr. Sneer. Impressive? The Sneer Secure Vault is impenetrable. Twelve inches of tungsten titanium steel mesh with heat-resistant graphite ceramic armor. She's a doozy. I'm sure. How much would you be asking for the vault, Mr. Sneer? Well, Knox, all that security stuff doesn't come cheap. Besides, you can't put a price on happiness. Try. Oh, three quarters of a million dollars. Mm -hmm. It's a steal. Your price is a little steep, and this is an untested product. What guarantees do I have? Oh, any kind you want. Pick one. Well, thank you for the demonstration, sir. But I believe I'll do a little comparative shopping. Fine, fine. I never rush a customer. But don't take all day. Boy, this is pretty heavy for a bunch of illusions. Where would you like this, uh, Mr. Tromboni? Right there's good, Bert. Here goes. Wish me luck, Cedric. Uh, <laughs> Mr. Tromboni? I was wondering, uh, I mean, uh, did, do you think I could be your apprentice? Oh, you want to be a magician? Boy, do I ever. Do you know how much work is involved in learning the art of magic, Bert? I don't care, because being a magician has got to be the greatest thing in the world. Mystifying people, stupefying crowds, it'd be great! <laughs> well, you certainly have the right attitude. Now, watch this! Abacadabra! Ta-da! What do you think? Good, but it could be better. <gasps> wow! And it's real! yoo -hoo! Oh, Mr. Trombone! Uh, Mr. Tromboni, uh, Lady Baden Baden. Oh, Mr. Tromboni, it's such a thrill to meet you. And when 
I heard you were visiting the forest. I simply had to invite you to my charity luncheon. I was hoping, perhaps, you could put on a small spectacle for my guests. Lady Baden Baden, I'd be honored. Oh, how gallant. Until noon, then. Ta ta. Well, Bert, if you're serious about learning magic, we'll start at noon. I. 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 Uh, Sadrak! Did you hear that? I'm gonna be a magician! You won't regret this, Mr. Tromboni. I'll be the best apprentice you ever had. And then, after he's chained up, they weld him into a steel milk can and drop him out of an airplane. And he escapes? That's fantastic. Ugh, that's terrifying. <laughs> I laugh at danger. <laughs> so, uh... Do I look like the well-dressed magician? Very spiffy, Bert. Oh, I can't wait till I'm the greatest magician in the world! Hmm. Gotta get that fixed. And now, I'm off to Lady Baden Baden's luncheon. So, if you'll just close your eyes, I will perform an amazing stunt. I'll disappear. Amazing. And I thought it was all done with mirrors. Come on, Knox. Don't be a tightwad. You need a Sneer Secure Vault. Be the first on your block to install one. Mr. Sneer, I have heard the sales pitch. Now, kindly back off. Right. They're almost ready, Pop. Wait till you see this. The world's greatest escape artist. And now, without further ado, appearing before us. <laughs> The Great Tromboni! Thank you and good afternoon. As you can see, my able assistant, Bert Raccoon, has chained me up securely. Are you sure about this? It's all right, Bert. And now he will lock me inside this brass-bound trunk. Ladies and gentlemen, we ask for complete silence during this difficult and daring escape. Huh? Huh? M -m -m Mr. Tromboni! Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. As you can see, no nefarious device can hold the great Tromboni for long. I will escape from anything, anywhere, anytime. Well, here's your chance to prove the quality. Your new vault, Mr. Sneer. What? You don't mean... If the great trombone can't escape the vault, I will happily purchase one or more. Oh, 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 what a great idea, Mr. Knox. Oh, like you said, sir, it's impenetrable. Um, yeah, uh, great. Uh, all right. You're on, uh, Knox. Trombone, I, uh... Challenge you to escape from my sneer secure vault. I accept, sir. With pleasure. Heat resistant graphite ceramic armor. Huh? You don't mind if I do the honors, do you, Raccoon? By all means, Mr. Sneer. Nice pose, Cyril. You designed this vault, Cedric. What are Tromboni's chances? Well, if I were him, I'd pack a lunch. Are you satisfied everything's secure, Mr. Sneer? Those chains are tighter than one of my contracts! <laughs> then, let's proceed. All right, lock them up, boys. We'll <laughs> never get out of here. Wait! <laughs> Wait! Well, Knox, I guess I proved my point. Trombone's in there for the duration. So we might as well close the deal. Our easy payment plan is straightforward. I take the cash, you get the vault. <clears throat> Not now. Trombone! I knew he'd get out. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Sneer, just let me check you on that quote. I believe you said Trombone's in there for the duration? Wasn't that amazing, Cyril? Yeah. Amazing! 
Okay, Boo, this is it. Lesson number one. And this time, I'll do it right. No, I can't do it. I'll never be able to do it. Besides, this hasn't got anything to do with magic. Magic is the disappearing cabinet. Levitation. That's the kind of stuff I want to do. Hey, Brew, watch this. Nothing up my sleeve, right? Abracapogas! <laughs> oh, <laughs> little too much of the old flash powder, <laughs> eh, <Hey>, Brew? <laughs> ah, gee! Hi, Bert. Hi, Brew. Huh? Oh, uh, hi, guys. Uh, <laughs> I was uh, just practicing my coin manipulations. Uh, Trombone says it sharpens the eye, uh, quickens the hand, and, uh, oops, <laughs> well, uh, still needs a little work. It's great to see you working so hard on this, Bert. We thought you might like to see this. Wow! This one definitely goes in my scrapbook. Gee, thanks, guys. Well, we'll let you get back at it. See ya. You know, Bert, when you first started this, I didn't think you'd have the patience to stick to it. I think that's great. Huh. You think that's great? Watch this! Hat, milk, uh, Bert, are you sure? And say the magical words. Hullabaloo! <laughs> Phenomenal. Hey, Cedric? <laughs> sure is. I'll wait till you get cleaned up. Then we better get over to the cafe. I invested a fortune developing this vault. And it's got as many holes as a Swiss cheese. I might as well install a turnstile in the darn thing. But, boss, we've been over the entire vault, and there's no way Tromboni could have escaped. Brilliant observation. The fact remains, he did escape. And there is nothing wrong with Cedric's design. So it must be in the construction. And you two-bit truffle snuffers built it. So you find out how he escaped. Capiche? Oh, yes, yes sir. sir. Right, right away, sir. sir. Boy, the boss is on the war path this time. Huh. Yeah. Let's show the boss we can do something right for a change. Well, that shouldn't be too hard. All we've got to do is find a way out of an impregnable vault. <laughs> Seems solid here. Ah. Ah. Well, that's everything, Jacob. Wow! Hi, Bert. Cedric. We're just about set here. How's the coin trick coming along? Oh, fine. Just fine. Wow. Look at all this great stuff. Uh, Mr. Tromboni? Actually, uh, I've been working on a couple of zingers for the show. Really? Watch this. And now, out of nowhere... <laughs> Bert, are you okay? Oh. Thanks, Mr. Tromboni. I guess one got stuck. Bert, don't do these things unless you know exactly what you're doing. It's dangerous. There's plenty of time to learn that one when you're ready. I'm sorry, Mr. Tromboni. It's just that I want to skip the Penny Andy stuff and, and move on to Major Illusions. I really think they are my forte. Bert, practice with the coin till you can do it perfectly. Then we'll move on. Uh, Bert, uh, would you mind putting some of these boxes away? Mr. Tromboni and I are heading for the train station to pick up the rest of his stuff. Sure, Schaefer. Cheer up, Bert. Mr. Tromboni's not trying to discourage you. He just wants you to be as good as him one day. So keep practicing. You'll get the hang of it. Oh, yeah. Sure. You couldn't play a guitar first time you picked it up. It's the same with magic. I'll see you later, okay, Bert? Yeah. Thanks, Cedric. Hey, thanks, bro. Yeah, Cedric's right. A little practice, and I'll be disappearing all over the map.
you know what this is? The most death defying escape trick ever! <laughs> Tromboni's world famous water trap! <laughs> It's only a light socket. <laughs> well, what does it? We poked and prodded every square inch of this boat, and nothing! I was watching an old rerun of Pignum P.I. last night, and he was locked in an escape-proof room. How did he get out? Oh, I don't know. I didn't watch the end. But I did tape it. Well, let's watch it. Maybe we can pick up a clue. Yeah. I'll just lock up the vault. Hey, stop! Oh, darn it! That was the time lock! Drats! Hey, no problem. I'll just leave this note, which explains everything. Ah, don't worry about it, bro. I just want to have a look. Huh. You'd figure there'd be some kind of trick to this. Whoa! Oh, oh great. I'm gonna look really stupid when Tromboni sees this. Help! Get, get me out of here! Stop the water! Bro, get out! Before it's too late! <laughs> this is the last of it, Jacob. Something's wrong. Let's go. Bert, how do we open it? There's no time. Stand back. Bert. Say something. Um, <laughs> oh, 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 now I see why it's called the water trap. <laughs> but you almost killed yourself. How could you be so, so stupid? I, uh, I'm sorry, Mr. Tromboni. I, I thought... You didn't think. You didn't think at all. Now, I've been trying to tell you to stick to the basics. The rest will come, but... Oh. Come on, Bert. Let's get you home. Move it, you bumbling Bruins! Time's running out for my boys! Huh? What are you doing? They left this note. It's all my fault. Dear boss, so far no luck breaking out. But there's one thing left to try. Hoping we find the answer before it's too late, we remain yours, the boys. Oh! And this is all I've got to remember them by. A crushed hat. All those dear, brave boys. Stand back. I'll go in first. This won't be pretty. What's happening here? You wrecked the boat. What are you three doing out here? You're supposed to be in there. Oh, uh, 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 sorry, boys. Uh, but you see, uh, Pignum P.I. was trapped in this escape-proof room. Uh, you see? <laughs> Probably wouldn't work anyway, huh, boss? Aw, <laughs> oh, come on, Bert. Come to the show. I told you I wasn't coming. Now get going or you'll be late for the show. It's me, Bert. Tom Boney. You mind if I come in? Well, there's nothing stopping you but a closed door. Giving up on magic already, Bert? Yeah, uh, I guess. You didn't give it much of a chance. Sure I did. When I was caught in the water trap, I knew I couldn't do the impossible. Nothing's impossible, Bert, if you believe you can do it. Yeah, well, there's a big difference between believing you can do something and really doing it. Ah, what's this? Huh? Catch? <laughs> you believe I just did that? I, uh, well, I, I, I saw it, so uh, I guess I, uh, yeah, I believe it. Then you can do it, too. And I'll show you how. But you must promise never to reveal how the trick is done. One magician to another. I... Uh, I promise. Now, let's do the impossible. Wow! I... I did it! That's magic. Sometimes it's hard to tell the difference between what's real and what isn't. But as Bird Raccoon found out, nothing is impossible you work hard enough for it. Ladies and gentlemen, the great Tromboni will now try to escape the water trap. Will he succeed or will he 
will he? Oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> My new student will demonstrate his ability with what we magicians call close magic. Pocus, pocus, Kalamazoo! Huh? Ah. A truly spectacular show, wasn't it, Mr. Sneer? Terrific! Anyway. You'll be pleased to hear I have decided to purchase one of your vaults. But Tromboni got out of it! My dear Mr. Sneer, surely you are aware that magic is the art of illusion. What you see is not necessarily what happens. Can I expect delivery at the vault tomorrow? Sure, Knox, but what you saw is not necessarily what you're going to get. <laughs> 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 <laughs>